Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Julian Avila. Uh, I wanted to discuss a particular subject related to the use of um, birth control medications, levonorgestrel in particular, and its association in the Mirena IUD with the possibility of blindness. Now, this is an extremely rare situation, but it has it does have a legal precedent, and there are cases that are pending uh, related to this particular um, association between the Mirena IUD and um, blindness. Now, um, I just wanted to stress that there are not very many cases of this, but there is uh, um, a description or an association between the two, and I haven't seen the nevolodrestrol as associated with uh, the emergency contraceptive pill, but it's very important for those patients that do use the emergency contraceptive pill to understand that if it's causing uh, severe headaches or change in vision, you should never use the medication again without uh, talking with your doctor first. Uh, so what exactly is the association? Um, there is a condition known as pseudotumor, pseudotumor cerebri syndrome or um, PTC syndrome, also known as intracranial hypertension. The easier one to say is intracranial hypertension, but again, pseudotumor cerebri syndrome. Now what happens here is that uh, PCS or intercr intracranial hypertension is associated with um, some anatomical issues, specifically if there's stenosis or narrowing of the cerebral uh, um, the, uh, vascular sinuses of the, of the brain. Uh, and number two is if there's a um, a thrombosis of this particular sinus, uh, as well as certain medications, and that's where we get into levonorgestrel uh, with the Mirena IUD and possibly the emergency contraceptive pill. And another um, possibility is related to uh, obesity. So, what's the take-home message here? Okay, for patients that are uh, uh, consistently using emergency contraceptive and they're getting headaches or if they're getting any visual changes don't use the medication again without uh, discussing with your doctor first. Number two, for those patients that have a Mirena IUD in place and are starting to notice chronic headaches uh, or changes in their vision, it's important to ask your doctor on whether or not the Mirena IUD should stay in place. And also a neurological consult, a neurology consult. Uh, because once you have this condition of intracranial pressure associated with the medication, um, uh, or the Mirena IUD, you can, it can be very quick to get to the point where you can have blindness. Again, I don't mean to scare anyone, but uh, most people don't understand the association there. And there have been cases where the Mirena IUD is associated with blindness. So if you're chronically getting migraine headaches or if you're noticing changes in your vision and you've either used the emergency contraceptive pill or if you use the Mirena IUD or have it in place, go make an appointment with your doctor to see whether or not you should continue uh, using either one of these devices uh, as a form of um, uh, birth control. So this is where it can be confusing for eShore patients because some patients all, uh, with eShore have already have the device, uh, excuse me, already have issues related to brain fog and cognitive changes and possibly blur blurred vision associated with an autoimmune response from the Assure device. And now you have a Mirena IUD in, uh, placed in your body, which I've already recommended it shouldn't be done because of uh, the possibility of the IUD snagging the Assure coils. But if you're starting to have chronic headaches or worsening headaches with, uh, with the Assure plus a Mirena IUD, uh, you should have the, I recommend that you should consider having the device uh, removed because of the possibility um, and sensitivity related to having uh, uh, an issue with intracranial pressure uh, or intracranial, intracranial hypertension and pseudotumor cerebri syndrome. Again, don't mean to scare anyone, but it's important to follow up with your doctor. If you have a Mirena IUD and you're worried about this particular risk, uh, you can have the IUD removed relatively easily. In the case of the Assure device, it's a little more difficult, especially if it could snag the coil. But this, these are issues that are, have, must be discussed with your doctor especially if you have any of these symptoms, because once you get to the point of changes in your vision, it's, it's very easy to lose your vision, even if you're uh, evaluated by the neurologist very quickly. And if you've already lost your vision, um, the, it's very difficult to reverse the condition. 
So I hope this is helpful, and I, again, I didn't mean to scare anyone, but it is important for you to understand uh, this particular condition and association with lemonogesterol and the Mirena IUD. Thank you very much.